Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to look at application problems for linear systems in two variables. So basically what you're going to want to do for each of these problems is you're first going to want to identify what the variables are. So we're going to say x equals something and y equals something. Then we're going to write the system of equations to model the situation we're given. Then we're going to solve the system, usually by elimination, and answer the question that they pose. So here's my very first problem. Corey has $24, more than twice as much money as Stan. Together, they have $150. How much money does each have? So my first thing that I need to figure out is what's X and what is Y? So what are they talking about? How much money does each have? So we're talking about money with Corey and Stan. So let's make C Corey's money. And Y is Stan's money. Why I write this out? I find that once I get my answers and write my actual answer, like my that Corey has want, want money, I want to make sure that I know which one was X and which one was Y. Otherwise, I find by the end I get confused. So this allows me to kind of keep it straight. Uh, let's see here. Now, let's write our equations. Corey has $24 more than twice as much money as Stan. So Corey has $24 more than twice as much money as Stan. Hmm. How would we write that? I know Corey has, so I'm assuming that's E. Hmm equals, right, he equals 24 more, $24 more, that sounds like plus, so 24 plus twice as much money, twice as multiplication of Stan, who is Y. So I have X equals 24 plus 2Y, wonderful. Together they have 150 bucks, so I know X plus Y has to be 150 right? Because X is Corey, Y is Stan, so X plus Y equals 150. So I now have my system. We're now going to use substitution because I already have a variable solved for. Why not use substitution? So I'm going to take 24 plus 2Y and plug it in for my X. So I'm going to have 24 plus 2Y for my X plus Y equals 150. So 24 plus these guys are going to combine. Give me a 3y. Okay, let's subtract 24 from both sides. I get 3y equals 150 minus 24, which is 126. Uh, let's divide by 3. So I know y equals 42. Now I'll mark it as dollars because it's money, right? Now let's figure out if Stan has $42, how much does Corey have? Well, I know both of them together make 150, right? So let's plug that into my, let's plug this Y into my equation. So I have X plus 42 equals 150. So if I subtract 42 from both sides, we get X equals 108. So now, I don't, x equals and y equals really doesn't help us answer the question. So let's write this out actually with words. So Corey has, he's x, so he's $108. And Stan has $42. This is what I'm actually looking for as the answer. Not x, not y, I'm looking at your written explanation. Let's take a look at number two. Phil has 50 nickels and dimes worth 14, not 14, $4.15. How many dimes does he have? So we're wondering about dimes and nickels. So I'm going to say X equals nickels and Y equals dimes. So what would be a good thing? I have a 50 and I have $4.15. Well, I know 50 nickels and dimes. That's nickels and dimes together makes 50. So I know x plus y must be equal to 50. So, but how am I going to make this $4.15? 
And it's got to be equal to four dollars and fifteen cents. Well, I know a nickel's worth five cents, but I don't know how many nickels, so let's call that X. And I don't know how many dimes, but I know a dime is worth ten cents with a Y. So that will work, right? 0.05x plus 0.10y equals $4.15, right? That's pretty much what I wrote up there, just kind of a little gross out, right? That's going to work beautifully. So what I can do now is I'm going to multiply this top equation to cancel out my x's. So I'm going to multiply by a negative 0.05. Okay, so I'm going to get negative 0.05x minus 0.05y equals 50 times 0.05 is a negative 2.5. Okay, x's are canceled out. I am left with 0.05y equals $1.65. Let's divide by... 0, 0.5 and I get y equals 33. Now I need to know my x as well just because in case the problem wouldn't say dimes but it would say dimes and nickels let's figure out our nickels. So I have x plus my y which is 33 equals 50. Subtract 33. Some of you are probably doing this one in your head but that's okay. I get 17. Now, let's write our final answer. They want to know about dimes. So I will say Phil has 33 dimes. And then my answer is done. <coughs> I have the bill for five glasses of apple juice and four salads is $9.50. But the bill for four glasses of apple juice and five salads is $10.30. How much does a glass of apple juice cost? So it looks like I'm talking apple juice <coughs> and salads. So I know that five apple juice, so I can write that as 5x, right? Because x is for apple juice, and four salads y equals 9.50 because is is basically an equal sign it's just kind of hidden in there is is an equal sign but the bill for four glasses of apple juice and five salads is ten dollars and thirty cents I have my equations written now let's cancel I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative four So I'm going to cancel my x's. So I'm going to try to get 20 and negative 20. So the top I'm going to get negative 20x minus 16y equals negative 38. Now I need to get a positive 20 below. So to get a positive 20 from 4, I'm going to need to multiply everything by 5, it looks like. So that's 20x plus 25y equals 51. Okay, x's are gone. I am left with 9. Whoa, my 9 got a tail there for a moment. No idea why. So I got 9y equals 13.5. That's me subtracting there. Let's divide by 9. y equals $1.50. So it's $1.50 for salads. I need apple juice. So let's plug in to one of my formulas. I'm going to plug in to the top equation. So I'm going to get 5 times x, because I don't know my x yet, plus 4 times $1.50 equals $9.50. So I got 5x plus $6 
Subtract 6 on both sides. We get 5x equals $3.50. Divide by 5. And I get x equals 0 0.70. Or 70 cents, right? So how much does a glass of apple juice cost? A glass of apple juice costs 70 cents. Can't draw circles to save my life tonight. All right, this is a classic story problem for systems. It's movie theaters. So a movie theater charges $5 for an adult ticket and $2 for a child's ticket. One Saturday, the theater sold 785 tickets for $3,280. How many children's tickets were sold for the movie that Saturday? So I know I'm talking adult tickets and I'm talking children tickets, right? So let's write our equations. Um, I have $5, $2, 785 and 3280 It looks like our money is all going to mate together, right? So for each adult ticket, I want to pay $5. Basically 5x, right? Um, 2 for every children ticket, so 2y equals the total money I raked in. Now, use that one, use that one, use that one. I'm left with 785 well, x plus y has to equal 785 tickets, right? That's got to make sense. I only sold adults and children. I didn't send it, sell anything else. So let's solve this. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 5, canceling out my x's. So I'm going to get rewrite my top here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get minus 5x. Negative 5 times y is negative 5y. And negative 5 times 785 is negative 3,925. 3, Let's cancel our x's out. I'm left with negative 3y equals negative, 100, negative 645. Divide by 3. And I get y equals 215. Now, let's find out how many adult tickets I also sold. So x plus 215 equals 785. Subtract 215. x equals 570. Uh, they want to know about children tickets. So I have 215 child's tickets were sold. And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.